Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2, or Clock Tower 1, depending on where you're from, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, when we last left off, we got two more of the endings. Uh, I have been quite busy. I have managed, well I say quite busy, it didn't actually take that long. Um, I've managed to clear the rest of the endings. And I went back through and I did find the last two hints, which was hint number five. One extremely important point is to who asked, who is asked to investigate the statue in the prologue. Do not forget who was asked. Yeah, that's kind of a big thing. Um, it's, well, I mean, you need to, quote, forget if you want to get the worst ending. But, you know, if you're playing this game normally, you probably aren't going to forget who you sent the statue to. Unless you're one of those people that just skips through all of the dialogue, in which case it's kind of a self-inflicted thing, really. Uh, I forgot, <laughs> because it's me and I spilt coffee all over my notebook uh, so I have this horrible chilly little waitress pad that I'm using at the moment however I have just bought myself a nice new notebook but I'm not going to use that until I've used up this waitress pad uh, and cats are no longer allowed on my desk but they you know still go on my desk so that's kind of redundant anyway uh, I also found hint number 10 when carrying the box that can't be opened, you need to do something fairly drastic to get at the contents. Uh, yeah, true. I mean, we have to burn the box. The trouble is, that's kind of your only option. I mean, if you're combining everything with everything, which is what you generally do with a point-and-click game, I think it wouldn't take you too long to work that out. Uh, this game doesn't really have an awful lot of moon logic. Uh, the puzzles are quite... They're not difficult, uh, you know, any game is, you, you know, confusing and challenging if you haven't played it before, especially of the point and click variety, but this is by no means uh, a difficult point and click with moon logic, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah, burning the box, it's, it's yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna work that out fairly easily. Anyway, we have all of the endings, uh, and I have my list here of basically the explanations of the endings, uh, which I have printed out, actually, because it explains them a little bit better than I could. The only trouble is, for whatever reason, when I completed these, they all worked fine, except for the 2D endings. They won't play back on this emulator. I don't know why. It's just the 2D endings. Uh, all the others work fine. So I'm going to have to make a note and go onto YouTube and download the 2D endings and add them in. Uh, I don't know why they don't work, whether it's an emulator issue, but the thing, they worked fine when I completed the game. But it's just uh, reloading the save state. They don't work. So whether it's something to do with the save states, whether it's something to do with the ROM, something to do with the emulator, I don't know. It's weird that it's both the D endings for both characters that don't work. Where well, everything else does. Uh, I don't know, Chief. I've tried saving the game and loading it from the, quote, memory card. Again, same issue happens. Uh, I guess I should have just recorded the, the endings when they happened, but... Uh, I just thought, hey, I'll play them all back in one in one go, right? No. So anyway, uh, so the E ending, we might as well watch all of these. We'll have all the endings in one video, just in case uh, anybody wants to just see the endings. So here we go. So the E ending, where Helen finds Jennifer's body. Yes, so all we have to do to get this ending is uh, forget where we sent the statue to and go to the wrong place, so. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, it was over. There was no way for us to escape from Scissor Man. Jennifer? Jennifer? Jennifer, are you asleep already? <gasps> Jennifer. Jennifer. 
Jennifer, hold on. <laughs> I actually quite like that ending. It's pretty creepy. Um, I don't know why Scissor Man, or Scissor Boy, really, uh, killed Jennifer with a very small pair of safety scissors. Uh, I guess that was just a lure Helen in. Not really sure, but yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, that is pretty much a direct continuation from Helen's E ending. So, uh, right, let's pretend that you're about to watch the D ending. Well, technically, I suppose you guys are, because I'll edit in it in here. So, uh, Helen's speaking with Jennifer and Gotts. So, to get the D ending, in scenario two. Go to the correct place where we sent the statue. Now, you have to do that for all the rest of the endings anyway. It's only that one where you have to go to the wrong one. Uh, in scenario three, do not get the unopenable box. Therefore, do not get the cosmetics key. You must have no clues towards finding the mansion map. Uh, and use the revolver to gain access to the church. And then when we get to the church, we have to save uh, Jennifer. Now, I'm going to pretend that you guys are just about to watch this. I'm going to leave myself a couple of seconds to add the clip in. Thank heaven you're still alive. Helen? It's okay now. I've got Scissor Man cornered. Right here. Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Helen, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. When you are researching criminal behavior. Always remember that danger. What are you saying? It, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Helen. Do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be Involved. Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. I 
I'm not like you. All right, Teach. She's okay. The murderer was Professor Barton. Helen! Teach, I know you're in shock, but you are alive. That's something to be happy about, ain't it? Yes, you're probably right. Okay, so, uh, the C ending for Helen is Gots visiting Helen's grave. Hmm. So, as always, in this ending, you have to get the statue. Uh, and in scenario three, use the fireplace key to unlock the grate in the second floor sitting room. Watch Jennifer die in the church, having used the fireplace route. Get the cosmetics key in order to get the mansion map. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the ending where she has to die. I mean, they're pretty low effort endings. Let's be fair. Uh, are they worth the effort to go through the game 10 times to get all these endings? No. <laughs> no. I mean, when we were kids, you know, to get, a, a, well, at best, a couple of seconds of footage of FMV um, was nice, you know, but... <sighs> Yeah, it definitely is not worth worth the effort. Let's just say that. So B, Edward survives the wreckage. So in scenario one, pick up the flashlight in the university's fax machine. Um, yeah, in the locker room. And then in scenario two, go to the place where you sent the statue during the prologue. In scenario three, do not use the fireplace key to uh, get the cosmetic key in order to get the mansion map, do use the result, the revolver to gain entrance to the church. Allow Scissorman, again, uh, to kill Jennifer in the church and have the door spell before going under the fountain. Uh, so after the vortex is opened, yeah. Scissorman is pulled in, but he manages to pull Helen in as well. Yes. This is the place where many mangled male and female bodies are being found. The search for more corpses still continues. So, that looks like Barton's hand to me, but what do I know? I guess. I'm not too bothered about working these endings out because, eh, they're just not that interesting. Um, as much as I love this game, the endings are kind of a bit pat. So, and then, of course, Jennifer and Helen embrace in ending A. So, to get ending A, of course, we have to do everything right. We have to pick up the flashlight in the university. Um, we have to go to the correct place. And we have to not use the fireplace key, but we have to get the cosmetic box in order to get the mansion map. Use the revolver to gain uh, access to the church. We have to save Jennifer. And we have to use the door spell. All right. And of course, this is the ending that we know. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? I don't think we can make it. 
I am certain Jennifer is still alive. Hey, someone's there. <laughs> the animation. Jennifer? Helen? Jennifer, you're alive. Helen! I still have no idea what uh, Gots is talking about in that. No need to get upset, Teach. I don't think we'll make it. What? M what are you talking about, Gots? I, you know, it's kind of like you know when you step into the room and over here, not even half of a conversation, just like a quarter of a conversation. Like, yeah, very, very weird. Anyway, now we're going to move on to um, Jennifer's ending. So, in her E ending, of course. This is uh, where we go to the wrong place and screw up before we even start. Um, yeah, so this basically takes place seconds before Helen's ending, I guess. Or, well, maybe, you know, a, a short time before Helen's ending E. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, all leads have come to a dead end. Scissor man. <gasps> and Jennifer is about six seconds away from death herself there. So, yeah. Not the best ending. Uh, again, ending D here. Uh, so to get ending D, we have to go to the correct uh, the correct place in scenario two, uh, and do not pick up the foreign note. Never go into the storage room. You can't if you don't have the oil can anyway. And do not save Helen. Never use the copper book. So under the fountain in the courtyard, Jennifer finds Edward, who tells her he has found a way out. She walks past the door behind him, and before she could even get to it, he stabs her. And yes, his reflection is shown in the blood there. So uh, I'm going to give myself a couple of seconds pause here to add the video in. I'm going to pretend you have watched this video, and then we're going to move on to ending C. Are you all right? Jennifer, I found a way out. Where? It's over there. Everyone else is already there. Uh, really? Okay, so ending C. Uh, Scissorman Edward Dan slash Dan Barrows survives in ending C. So uh, you've got to get the oil can, and we have to go to the correct place to find the statue. And in scenario three, do not pick up the foreign note, unlock the box in the storage room, and talk to Helen, but never use the copper book. This is the place where many mangled male and female bodies are being found. The search for more corpses still continues. Hey, someone is still alive. Carry them gently. A survivor. There seems to be a survivor. <laughs> yes. Yes, good old Edward A. Managed to get himself out of another scenario. But not quite so with ending B. So, Helen and Nolan visit Jennifer's grave. Yeah, so this is the one where we die, but we kind of, you know, 
we kill Scissor Man. So we have to get the oil can. In scenario two, we go to the place where uh, we sent the statue, so we do that. And in scenario three, we have to get the foreign note from the church library, and we have to have either Professor Barton or Helen. Oh, I did not know Helen could translate. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> These notes I've printed out. Yeah, maybe I should have read them. <laughs> I did not know that we could get Helen to translate the door spell as well. I always used uh, Professor Button. Uh, anyway, we also have to unlock the box in the storage room and talk to Helen. I mean, no shit if we have to. You know, potentially, we could use her to translate the note anyway. And we never use the copper book. So. nice gravestone to be fair you know they didn't uh, expare too much spent expense there um yeah so oh, these endings really are pretty small and insignificant and then of course we have uh, ending a uh, which of course is the best ending it's not clear which one of these is canon but considering clock tower two or three depending on you know where you're from uh, a struggle within. I think that game was called. Uh, it certainly was a struggle. I can tell you that. It's probably one of the worst games that I've ever played in my life. It's absolute dog shit. But hey, that's neither here nor there, I suppose. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one of these uh, carries on from that. But uh, so this is Jennifer and Nolan being rescued. Oh yes, this is where they're getting a little bit, a uh, little bit spicy underground. You know. Uh, so we have to get the oil can, then get the statue, of course, and then in scenario three we have to get the foreign note from the church library and have either Professor yeah it says it there as well, either Professor Barton or Helen translate it into the door spell. Unlock the box in the storage room and talk to Helen to get the dagger from the underground shrine. Yeah, the zombie room, of course. And then we get ending A. The best ending. At least the best ending for Jennifer, anyway. I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. <laughs> no, you're just weak. Ouch. Helen? Jennifer, <laughs> Nolan, Helen! Avert thy eyes. <laughs> and that is Clock Tower One. Um, all endings, all uh, hints, the whole lot. It's, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know. It's not the greatest game ever created, but it's a big game for me, and I still enjoy the hell out of it uh, with my rose-tinted glasses on. Um, this is such a big nostalgic game for me. Um, and I've really enjoyed playing this back through again as well. Not really sure why these two don't work. It's really bloody annoying. Like, oh, come on. Um, but hey, I don't know. Um, yeah, really enjoy this game. I it, Does it hold up? I mean, it, it is what it is. I, if, <laughs> I would say if you're really into your um, point and click games and you're really into horror games, sure, give it a go. You might enjoy it. There's a lot of replayability to it. Uh, anybody else? Probably not. It's probably not worth playing these days. 
Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.